Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thanks for joining. Is Elon Musk really the messiah of free speech? And will he bring us the futuristic future we all have been dreaming of? Or is he just a controlled opposition, being part of the ongoing agendas that we associate with the World Economic Forum? I have the proof right here, so stay tuned. His latest appointment of Linda Yaccarino as the new Twitter boss has sparked some curiosity and need to research Elon Musk's connections to the World Economic Forum. Because Yaccarino holds the executive chair position of the Task Force on Future of Work and sits on the WF's Media, Entertainment and Culture Industry Governor's Steering Committee, and she is also highly engaged with the WEF's Value and Media Initiative. So as she has all these connections, where does Elon fit into this? To make things short, I did a bit of research if Elon is a young global leader of the World Economic Forum because some people commented in this regards on the channel. And indeed I came across this Bloomberg article from 2008. Here is the original. Unfortunately we cannot scroll down because I do not have a subscription there. But there is always a workaround for things like this. So I take the address and put it into the archive search site, and here we go. Now we got the full page from Bloomberg. So this is not some suspicious conspiracy site. This is mainstream media, and if we scroll down, then we find it here written in black and white. Elon Musk, the chairman of Tesla Motors, the much-publicized electric sports car company, is a new young global leader. So there you have it. And there are quite a few other high-profile names in this article. I will put the link into the description so you can read it in detail for yourself. Also, you might want to download it for future reference as these things have started to disappear as I have noticed with other revealing articles of the past. And just in case Bloomberg is not trustworthy enough, I have here a second article from Oxford University which also mentions that Elon Musk is a young global leader together with Mark Zuckerberg and Leonardo DiCaprio. Maybe that is why DiCaprio is so involved with the climate change agenda. Just speculating here. But why is Elon not shown on the official list of young global leaders? Well, there seems to be the option not to be shown on the Young Global Leaders website as an alumni. This article here, which is less mainstream than the other ones, but it explains the background and gives some additional examples of people who are young global leaders, but who are also not listed there as alumni similar to Elon. So to me, this just proves my speculation that Elon is not the chosen one who will bring more freedom to the world. And I really loved many of the things he was doing until he did things that did not make physical sense like I mentioned in an earlier video, the Tesla in space and also the Hyperloop thing. Anybody with a high school physics background should be able to understand with a bit of digging that these things cannot work the way they are presented and therefore if he lied here, maybe there are more things he is not honest about. So unfortunately you need to manage your expectations with this. We need to deviate from the brainwashing that we just need to sit still and then like magic. Someone will appear and save us from the abyss. Or if we just don't vote for one way but instead we take the other one. At the end of the day we have to realize that we are all just being played and no matter which choice is offered to us, they all will lead to the same end result because both options are presented by the same people in the shadows. That is the big dilemma or predicament of our existence in this computer game or whatever weird simulation this all is. And I cannot underline this enough, but the only way to escape this dilemma is to choose not to play. This is the only way to win in a game that is designed so that you cannot win. Don't waste your time believing in other people to rescue you. Take control of your life and shape the future for yourself in the way you want it to be. That is the only way, and time to escape might be running out. Anyways, hope that information was helpful. If so, then please give a like and subscribe as you can see YouTube hasn't been that kind to this channel so far. Thanks for watching and all the very best to you.